Hi, Adam Noble Forsey here for fighttalk.net. I am down at the Spartan Fight Club with Ricky Little. How you doing, mate? Yeah, good, pal. Good. So you've got a fight coming up? Yep, yep. Uh, 21st September, six round down Southampton Guildhall, my hometown. So I'm looking forward to it. I ain't fought in my hometown for a while now. Yeah, well, yeah. that was that was the last time I think I, I interviewed you after you had a fight on down at the Novotel yeah, on yeah. Ryan Garner's sort yeah. of headliner show down there. Since then, quite a lot's happened. You've you had a you've had a couple of losses. Yeah. You've been on a matchroom show. You yeah. were floating on a card and then you didn't get on. Yeah. What's yeah, the last few months been like since? Yeah, it's been it's been really busy. Um, good bit of ex- you know amazing bit of experience getting under all the big you know the big cameras and under the lights. Um, try and get me used to it. Cause that's what I want to get to. You know, championship level. Um, and yeah, just trying to get my foot through the door, get myself noticed and out there. So like we're not going to take silly fights, but you know we take we take fights that we can. We think yeah, we can yeah. take. You know, definitely, mate. Um, you also I saw an article in the Daily Echo. So last time I, I, I did some interviews with you, you were running a cafe. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then I see in the Daily Echo there's a big story about how you've sold your cafe to sort of dedicate yourself full time to, to yeah, boxing. Yeah, that's it. So I've got I've sold my cafe now, so I can concentrate and train three times a day, six yeah. days a week. Um, as I've never boxed amateur, I'm learning on the job. So you know, I need as much training and as knowledge I can get. So if I'm around it 24/7, um, you know, it helped me speed up my experience a little bit more. Definitely. So yeah, that's that's. So I've just give everything all up so I can just give it all to my boxing. Nice one, mate. Um, so that happened in what May time, did it? Yeah, um, just after May. It, just after May. Uh, um, I think it's about three months ago now. Yeah. Um, so yes. Yeah, so, so since then, it's just been hands-on training, trying yeah. to learn. How's the transition spine. been from sort of work? In theory, you were kind of a part-time boxer, although you were a full yeah. professional. Now you're full time. Are you are you feeling better about? Yeah, your... yeah, I feel a lot better. Um, and uh, you know, I feel m- more fitter in myself. You know, you know, so I'm training constantly. I just, you know, I can feel a lot more in the gym I just feel a lot more better in myself as well you know yeah. so and just being around the pros you know just being around the pros rubs off you know watching learning watching learning I just keep taking it in and just keep trying to put it into action yeah so you are you uh, am I right in thinking you're now trained by Wayne Batten yeah so yeah I'm training with Wayne and I still train with, with Paul uh, Paul Dyer so but I um, tra- do a lot of training with Wayne now uh, being a full time pro and um, Paul working I just want to get as much you know in as I can so yeah doing a lot with Wayne now yeah? yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Um, so are you sort of he trains a lot, most of the fighters in Southampton. Yeah, yeah. So are you sort of mixing with those guys? With yeah, like Ryan yeah. I'm, I'm with Ryan like Gardner, um, all the, the other few, the Joe Pigford that he's got. Um, there's a few other new lads that are coming down from Reading and that do, training down there as well. So yeah, it's good to mix around all them. You know, good boys with a lot of experience. You know, Ryan Gardner, he's world class. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. There's a, a lot of hype about him. Um, in terms of sort of boxing in Southampton. Um, it's never probably been, uh, well, it's definitely never been the most fashionable place for, for boxing. No, no, so, that's it. So it's been a long time coming for a, you know, a professional boxing show, you know, yeah. back in Southampton. Um, we had one, I think it was last year. Um, so yeah, well, I've been, I can't wait to fight back in my home, yeah, you know, yeah. my hometown. Well, it's so, been a, from my point of view, because I'm from Southampton as well. I'd love to see boxing do well in this city. Um, the atmosphere was ridiculous, especially yeah. that Joe Pickford fight, yeah, yeah. which you fought on. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, is, what's the who who uh, the people who are putting this show together? Are they trying to recreate that thing? Are we going to have some of the local? Yeah, work? I think hopefully I, I think there's only two lads from Southampton on the bill. Yeah. Um, myself and Rich O'Connor. Okay. Um, but obviously we're hoping to get the biggest crowds. We we're hoping it'll still be a sellout, which we think it will. Yeah. Um, I've got quite a few that's going to come um, and follow me. I hope so. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, just as good as that atmosphere is what it was the last one yeah well while we're on that point so tickets how yeah people can contact you directly. yeah contact me through facebook my instagram um or i've got a ticket hot, hot um, hotline on my on my facebook you can ring that yeah um and get any tickets through that like yeah. that yeah okay brilliant mate um so you've, you've had those couple of losses on your on your record yeah you had one down in bournemouth which i, I didn't see and yeah. then you went in with charlie edwards who's probably recognized as the second best in your your weight category in the country behind Cali yeah, Fire. Yeah, so we took the Charlie Edwards fight. Same again, it's experience. I don't want to keep fighting journeyman. I want to f- fight for a British title. Yeah. So if I keep fighting journeyman, I'm not going to learn nothing. Yeah, okay, that's but if, good I, if I get in there with the champions, it's going to rub off. And when I'm at championship level, 
I'd be ready for it. I wouldn't have just been fighting journeymen and being padded out. Yeah. So I might as well, you know, fight the best to be able to be the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the way I see it. So, so, so from that, we we bumped into each other and we were talking about the Charlie Edwards fight. Um, have you? How did you deal with the the big stage, the sort of big matchroom style of show? So what yeah, was that like? it was a big, it was nerve wracking. It was a big fright, but it was an amazing experience of a lifetime. You know, there's boys out there that have been boxing for a lot longer than me, and they ain't got to have that experience yet. You know, um, and just being part of it all, matchroom boxing. You know, being put up in a five star plus hotel. Yeah. You yeah. know, living the life. It was. It was <laughs> good. It was. I loved it. Excellent. Yeah, it was and good. So that was the second time you worked with Matchroom because you were men of fight with Goldrick. Yeah, you? so yeah. that was the that was the first one, and then we was on the Anthony Joshua build to fight on a uh, four rounder for against Sean McGoldrick. Um, we was a live float, um, so due to all the title fights going yeah, the distance, we didn't get on. But same again, good, good experience. Yeah. You know, the weigh in, all live on camera, all the cameras in your face. You know, same again. It was a really good experience. I loved it. Really experience good. of a lifetime, really. You know. So, what sort of plan for the rest of the year? You've so hopefully, got... yeah, we've got this um, home show coming up. Um, the phone's going quite a lot for myself. Cool. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, good. there's not many boys out there in my weight category. Um, but like I said, we're not a journeyman, but we're willing We're willing to learn and willing to yeah. get in there with the good boys. So um, we're, we're hoping after this home show, the phone's going to go and we'll take what's coming next, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming you haven't got an opponent ready yeah. No, um, it's hopefully due to be announced. Quite a long time. Yeah, it's due to be that they're sorting it. Match, matchmakers are sorting it now, so we're hoping in the next week and a half, two weeks, that I'll be able to announce my opponent yeah. for the Southampton Home Show. Brilliant, yeah. man. That's great news. Um, so, in terms of sort of your career, now you've gone. Gone, you've gone for it. You've sold your yeah. business to yeah. invest. I've literally yourself. give everything up, you know, to chase my dream. My dream is to be a British, to fight for a British title and try and be a British champion. Yeah. So I've give everything up to try and chase my dream, yeah. and I will. I will get there. I, no matter what, I will get there. So this is sort of. You're at the beginning of your career. This is the yeah, start I'm, of a I'm, very long journey. I'm, I'm fresh, you know. I've never boxed amateur. I'm still fresh in the game, you know. I'm still learning. There's still a lot to learn. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the still like the start of my career. Really, it's just starting to take off. Yeah. Are you sort of developing your own sort of style? Because you're um, quite because you haven't had the amateur. Yeah, I'm not. The, the way like my trainers, you know. Uh, uh, telling me to go that's the way I'm trying to go obviously different opponents different fights you've got to change things you always got to have a plan B um, so but yeah we're, we're just trying to you know carry on practicing that same that same technique so yeah yeah okay man. and like you you um, last time I interviewed you, you you you're not someone who sort of at the time you didn't study many fighters no you know, has that changed yeah, yeah, I, I non-stop watch, you know, oh, that's good non to yeah, non-stop watching on YouTube. So I'm trying to learn, 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 so I can take off, watch what they do, and try yeah. and take it to the ring myself. Um, and like obviously sparring, I'm trying to get as much sparring as we can, you know, so I can what I'm watching on YouTube, I can try and learn. So yeah, I really? do. I've been studying quite a few boxers, yeah, especially for my weight category now. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah. ask actually. Yeah, so especially for my weight category. We've got the Superfly three card coming up, so you've been watching all those guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's, there are some good boys. There's not many of us out there, but the, the ones that are out there are good, you know. So that's why I'm, I'm here to learn, learn the craft. Is there anyone in particular you're sort of learning more of? You like their sort of style, or? There's not really no one in my my weight that I like their style, but. Um, no, I just not not really. Manny Pacquiao's I like, you know, yeah, small he's like come me. Back yeah. With a win, yeah. He, he he's small like me, you know, and quick. Um so I like him. Um but no, there's no one really I study to try and, you know, emulate emulate yeah. myself. Yeah. I like you say I've got a bit of my own style, not having an amateur record. Um so yeah, we just that's how we do. Brilliant mate. Um so, you know, hopefully we can get some sort of title arranged for you. I suppose it's yeah, still just learning at the moment. That's it, hopefully that's my dream to fight for a British title. Um so yeah, hopefully get this this first six rounder out of the way. Um see what we'll get offered after that, you know. And hopefully maybe we'll get signed by a promoter and that'll help me out a lot, you know, you know, not having a promoter behind as you know yourself goes on ticket sales or you wait for the phone to go. Yeah, definitely. So but yeah, that's all that's all we're aiming for really. Brilliant. Well, it's been nice catching up, Ricky. Yeah, Thanks good. for talking to Fight Talk. And no we'll, um, we'll catch up with you soon, probably be at the fight. Yeah, lovely. Cheers, bro.